Good morning, I'm uh, Ted Weathers. I'm a judge of the Superior Court of California and I sit in San Diego County. I was invited to Pristina, Kosovo uh, by the U.S. Embassy and USAID uh, with my family, uh, my partner, my husband, Terry McEachran, and our daughter, Elizabeth. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. I'm 16 years old. I go to Patrick Henry High School in San Diego, California, and I'm here in Kosovo with my two dads. Um, it's really nice here. I'm Terry McEachran. I'm a money manager, and we're from San Diego, California, and it's been quite a week in Kosovo talking about our experiences of being a gay family in San Diego. Uh, this week has been an incredible week. Uh, we've had the opportunity to meet with uh, members of the judiciary, members of the state prosecutor's office, as well as attorneys and crime victims advocates. We met with the Prime Minister's LGBT Advisory Board today and also members of the uh, local LGBT community and various NGOs that work with the LGBT community. One of the things that we uh, encountered here in Kosovo is a belief that there are no LGBT individuals in Kosovo. And of course, the, uh, that is not true. We have met with many members of the LGBT community here in Kosovo. Uh, but the concern is that they don't want to be uh, open or uh, out. Uh, they're, they're basically afraid of be being out to their friends and families. It is uh, equally important for uh, LGBT individuals to, to be open about uh, uh, the fact that they are LGBT, uh, as well as it's important for the non-LGBT uh, families and friends to support their, uh, their, their neighbors, their friends, their co-workers and colleagues. Um, gay people have been born into every culture, every religion, every society in the world since the beginning of humankind. Um, being gay is not a mental illness, it's not a choice, um, it's just a fact. It's as much as me having green eyes and being six foot tall, there's nothing I can do to change it. Uh, is wonderful about Kosovo is the fact that they have uh, a new constitution uh, which uh, provides for protection of all uh, people including uh, people of various sexual orientations. What we find now is that the governmental institutions such as the judiciary and the prosecutor's office need to uh, continue to work to implement the protections that are in the Kosovo Constitution so that all people, including LGBT individuals, uh, are treated with the uh, protections, the dignity, and the humanity that the Kosovo Constitution provides for. We'd like to thank the people of Kosovo for your hospitality and this experience. It's been really nice. And I'd also like to thank the people of Chesh for being so open and kind and willing to talk to us and ask us questions and stuff, because it's really, really nice to know that you trust us enough to do that. So I'd like to thank you.